Hello and welcome to the second episode of this season's Across the Line, your one-stop shop for all things Leinster. We talk to Maori All Blacks lock Hayden Triggs as he arrives at Leinster and begins settling in. We also speak to Tom Denton about the big game Friday night as Leinster hosts Guinness Pro 12 champions Glasgow Warriors. All this in our usual mix of exclusive content, milestones and previews here on Across the Line. Leinster's new signing Hayden Triggs took some time out on a busy moving week to talk to us about settling in at Leinster, playing with the Maori All Blacks and what he hopes to achieve on this new venture. Uh, they've been a bloody whirlwind to be fair. Uh, got here on Tuesday, um, came and met the lads on Wednesday morning, trained, um, then this morning been in for a gym and um, yeah, a lot of information but it's been nice. It's just a lot of stuff that you take for granted being at home, but I mean that was part of the adventure coming here and um, yeah, mainly the TV crew's been taking up my time, which has been good. Going home from Japan, I, I said I'd never go overseas again. Um, you know, that was an adventure in itself, great country, you know, different culture. But um, after Super Rugby finished, I was, my contract finished in New Zealand and um, there was options there, but the name Leinster came up and um, I just couldn't turn down that opportunity, so hence I'm here, yeah, I can't wait. I've nothing but respect and admiration for what East is doing. Um, I knew him as a, like, I played with him when I was a bit, oh, I played against him when I was a bit younger, but at the Blues he is kind of our mentor, our go-to guy for the players, to the coaching and management, so um, it's going to be awesome to, like, we always knew he could play again and, and wonder why he wasn't, he didn't have the boots on, so man, I just can't wait to, you know, get amongst it with him once I get the opportunity. Māori rugby team in general is, um, for the in, for the natives of New Zealand, it's, it's quite a big, important uh, team. Uh, the, the role of the team in New Zealand is not only high performance now, but to encourage the young Māori people to, you know, give them give them a, a goal to work to, uh, give them kind of aspirations, and that's in everything the Māori team does, from uh, from playing to being role models off the field to kapa haka, which is like singing and and doing haka, so um, it plays a much bigger part than rugby in New Zealand and um, to be a part of that and to be amongst that for, you know, I, I had quite a, a few opportunities so um, like to me it means a lot and also to, I think to young Māori and Māori in general in New Zealand is, um, yeah, it's massive over there. Once I, I get an understanding of the calls and um, kind of what's going on around line-out time, which is my core role, then, um, yeah, it's just some press and training, um, make sure I do whatever's asked of me and do it 110% or to the best of my ability because, yeah, that's my, my main goal is to get out on the field and, and represent the jersey for sure. This month saw our club and school sides get the province off to a promising start for the new season by winning their Interpro competitions. The under-18 girls team also won their Interpro competition with a grand slam as they were represented by 29 girls from 13 different clubs. At senior level there were five debuts in the Guinness Pro 12 for Royce Burke Flynn, Ross Byrne, Gary Ringrose, Tyg Byrne and most recently Tony Ryan. Leo Cullen confirmed his coaching lineup with Gervin Dempsey taking up a role as backs coach as Richie Murphy joined the RFU on a full-time basis. 19 Irish players and Zane Kirshner from the Leinster squad were recognised with Rugby World Cup 2015 call-ups as Ireland made it to the quarter-finals. And finally, Leinster welcomed Leia Healthcare and Air Coach on board as sponsors for the season ahead. The reigning Guinness Pro 12 champions Glasgow Warriors visit the RDS on Friday and if last year's nail-biting encounters are anything to go by, we should be in for a treat. Stuart Hogg won the game for the Warriors with the last kick of the game in Scotstoun, while at the RDS we were served up an eight-try thriller. Leinster second row Tom Denton played a key role in both games and is looking forward to the Friday night kickoff. Yeah, um, fortunate to play in both of those. Um, I remember the first game away there, 
they got off to a good start. Uh, we managed to claw our way back into the game, um, but they narrowly beat us. Um, and then same again at our place, very tough game. Um, they ended up getting a good lead, but we managed to claw our way back in the second half um, and came away with a draw. So, I mean, this, this week it's obviously going to be same sort of mentality, um, very tough game. So we're all getting well prepared for it. And we're trying to build a bit of momentum after our last two wins. Um, so it's obviously a big disappointment to go away to Scarlet's and uh, lose. So um, rebuild this week and get back to winning ways. Obviously um, disappointing for Ireland at the weekend. So we'll have some players back and they'll maybe have a few players back from Scotland. So um, no, really looking forward to it. All tickets can be purchased on leinsterrugby.ie. For more great Leinster TV content, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also be sure to follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook. That's all we have time for this month. For more in-depth features, news and tickets, be sure to check out leinsterrugby.ie. Thanks for watching. We'll see you all again next time here on Across the Line. Thanks for watching Across the Line. Hit subscribe for more videos.